quick backstory. I really like video games. A lot. I'm kind of a nerd. I like video games so much that I made a whole new room on my house just so I could put all my shit in it. Got quite a few things. A lot of old systems. A lot of these systems you can configure on your analog pocket, should you have one. If you do, lucky you. They're pretty awesome. I also work on arcade machines. A lot of MAME, RetroPie, Xbox, PS4, whatever you can fit in there, and it works awesome. A little bit of a tour, not really a full tour. Not so clean, but I don't really care. It's my room, right? But yeah, a lot of these things right here can play on the analog pocket. Now let's look how we configure. What we're really here to talk about, though, is how do I configure my FPGA cores for analog pockets, specifically the Neo Geo. It's a tough one. But we'll get there, alright? Well, the first thing you want to do, basically, is go here to GitHub. Go ahead and just search analog pocket, if I can spell. Alright. And that'll bring you right here. You got 83 repositories right here, all of this. You can download and use as you want. Get it in there, configure. You can do it manually, but they got something right here called the Pocket Updater Utility. That's right here. Uh, you basically, right, this kind of shows you what's in there. You'll want to go right over here and say, hey, what's what's this? Go over there for your thing of choice, right? Probably Windows, like myself. Now, go over here get your pocket updater what this thing does it actually goes out there and it grabs all the cores all the things you need to make it work even your BIOS files but it doesn't get you is like your um, your uh, system ROMs your um, Game Boys your NES your SNES your Neo Geo's this and that you right okay I'll show you where to get those two so basically what you want to do you want to put it on your uh, pocket drive right like this is my micro SD right here this is how mine is set up right and it'll basically kind of set all this up for you even grab you a handy dandy firmware here so basically all you do is you go right in here double click and just say yes and let's say Zero. Update all. And it should go through and grab everything for you and set it up in the drive you got set right there. So if you run this on your micro SD that's in your computer here, it'll run all this. It'll set it all up for you. It's great. You can see some of the some of the things here uh, that you'll see over on github you'll also see a lot of the same names and whatnot for the cores that are going by here so you let it do its thing it takes a few seconds seconds minutes whatever But as you can see, it's setting all the stuff up here. Yeah, this right here is uh, like a uh, arcade games. Uh, you can actually play arcade games on there. They, somebody was cool enough to set that up for us. Hopefully there's a lot more in the future. <laughs> if 
but yeah, well, this does this thing. Let's let's start getting into uh, uh, how do I do the old Neo Geo. Here's your Neo Geo. You can find that obviously right here. Neo Geo over here. So this will all be set up by that updater, right? You can go through and it tells you all about it, all the fun stuff, how you like install it. Um, but the biggest thing here you got to pay attention to is this right here. Like all work with the games using the dark soft directory names. Okay. When I first started setting all this up, I was using stuff that I could grab like Neo Geo Pocket, other like Neo Geo full sets, and like none of it would work. I was like, what the hell? So, what I ended up, I noticed it said Dark Soft right there, and I ended up finding them. And where did I find this stuff? Well, through my Google Foo and my searching, I found this place, which, if you would take a gander, you'd notice that it actually has quite a bit of things for quite a bit of systems. So these are all ROM sets. I'll uh, put the link in the description, I guess, unless you can, you know, write all that down on your own. But I'll put it in the description, I suppose. This is where you're going to find a lot of stuff helpful. And another little helpful thing I found. Uh, BIOS files. You're going to need some of these things sometimes in your life, depending on what you're working on. I set up arcades, obviously, and this and that. And uh, doing emulators, you're going to need this shit. So, this I'll also put in the description because this will give you a lot of different, uh, obviously, files you're going to need to make things run. As you can see, there's quite a few. But so let's see how this is doing. Pocket rounds, and that was. Yeah, it looks like it's probably done. Nope, almost there. Well, maybe it is done. What's that with me? It's like work. How should things go by? But you get it, right? It's, it's still downloading stuff here, so it obviously does take. A few minutes, okay? There's a lot of stuff to, you know, set up, obviously. If you want, let's go ahead and take a look through mine that I have set up. So everything's basically going to, like, ROMs-wise, it's going to go to the assets, um, and then your various system here, you know, you got SNES. And these are, okay, we can talk about, like, the type of ROM files you're going to need here. So S SMC would be... SNES, some of them are like kind of straightforward, you know, like uh, NES is uh, NES, you know, original uh, GVC files, right? You know, kind of goes with it. So, like, you have to have the right file for whatever. The only ones that I really had problems with was that Neo Geo. So, basically, you let this whole thing kind of set it up as it did right here. Come again soon. Thank you very much. If you look into here, you're going to have to some, uh, you know, like mine, but like no games. Here's your Neo Geo, but you go into common and there's all your BIOS and all those fun things that you're going to need in there to make this, this stuff work. And then this is where you're going to put your ROMs, obviously, as well. So we'll go compare to mine, common. There's all your games. All right. The correct dark soft problems. These take a minute to load, but when they do, they work great. So, if anything, I hope this kind of helps you guys get that figured out. Like I said, this is very helpful. You're going to find what you need here. So, links in the description. You guys have a wonderful evening.